will flee. Hallelujah. He will flee. He will flee. He will flee. That's victory. That's power. We have victory in him. And we have power in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm encouraged on this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. It's 11 o'clock. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to worship at Greater Page Temple, Church of God yeah. in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where our pastor is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor David E. Harris. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm glad about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a wonderful pastor. We have a wonderful fellowship here. Hallelujah. And if you're listening, hallelujah. Hallelujah. On Facebook, hallelujah. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome into the presence. Hallelujah of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his gates with courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Has he made you glad? He has. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I choose to rejoice. He has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Come on, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I'm glad to serve your God. I'm glad on today. God bless you. Can we stand for a word of prayer? Bless you, Lord. Lord God, we enter your house as humbly as we know how. Because the Lord, he is God. He has made us and not we ourselves. We humble ourselves before you. And we invite your presence. Fill the room, Lord. Fill the room with your presence. Have mercy on us, for we are weak little men. Your grace, your grace from the foundation of the earth, your grace toward us. Touch us now. Oh, God, touch us now. In the name of Jesus, anoint us to worship. Anoint us to worship. Anoint the clapping of our hands. Anoint the lifting of our voices. We give you glory. 
there's none like you. Glory to your name. We enter your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for giving strength to our bones. Thank you. Now anoint this house for praise and worship. To your glory. To your glory, Lord. And we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for the scripture. Let everyone say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The script today is coming from the first psalm, and it read, <clears throat> Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sinners in the seat of the ungodly, seat of the scoffer, I'm sorry, but the delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. May the Lord have the blessing to the readers and the hearers of his holy word. It's time now for the affirmation of faith. He read, I believe concerning the Bible, we believe the Bible to be inspired and only infallible written word of God. I believe concerning God. We believe that there is one God eternally existing in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. I believe concerning the church. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. I believe concerning sin. We believe the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance and faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I believe concerning salvation. We believe that the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. I believe concerning Christ. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provided healing for the human body in answer to believing in prayer. I believe concerning the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for him. I believe concerning sanctification. We, we believe in the sanctified power of the Holy Ghost by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are free in Jesus today? Amen. You're free in the Lord. The Lord put this uh, song in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Freedom. Amen. And we had a leadership meeting on yesterday, and I know that God has broke forth more freedom, amen, in Greater Page Temple Church of God in Christ. So I'm just going to say this morning, just be free in him this morning. Hallelujah. If you want to dance, if you want to shout, if you want to run around the church, if you just want to praise him, hallelujah, amen. Freedom in him, hallelujah. Harder than before. I want 
sing a little louder than before. I wanna dance a little higher than before. I wanna shout a little more than before. Oh, freedom, freedom, freedom. Oh, freedom, freedom. I got freedom. Freedom, 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 freedom. I wanna clap a little harder than before. I wanna sing a little louder than before. I wanna dance a little more than before. I wanna shout. I And here I am to 
bow down And here I am to say that you're my God Sing. Here we go. And here I am to here I am to bow down. Here I am to bow down. And here I am to say Lord, you're my you are my God. You're all together lovely. All Wonderful to you. I want you to speak into the ear of his spirit. If he's wonderful to you, hallelujah. I want you to birth out some praises for him. Hallelujah. Birth out some worship for him. Hallelujah. If you need to repent for something, go ahead and do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give him a thank you. Hallelujah. Give him a glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because he is worthy. He is worthy. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he's turning it around for us. Hallelujah. It's not going to always be like this. Hallelujah. He's turning it around for us. It won't always be like this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We may be feeling some hurt and some pain. Hallelujah. Some discomfort. Hallelujah. It might be a little uncomfortable. Hallelujah. But it's not going to always be like this. Hallelujah. He's going to bring us through. Hallelujah. To break through. Hallelujah. Because he's faithful to his word. 
Halleluja. It won't always be like this. Come on, encourage your neighbor. The Lord will perfect that concern thee sooner or later. Sooner or later. Turn in your favor. Turn in your favor. Aren't you glad about it? He's turning it around. He's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concern me sooner or later. Sooner or later. It's going to turn in my favor. Turn. said, how many know that the Lord will turn it around for you? Yes, Come on, yes, act like you yes, know. Yes, and he'll yes. turn it around for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He that has begun a good work in you is able to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, put your hands together. And let's praise God in this place. For he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be honored. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. Come on. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. I'll enter to his courts with praise. I'll be thankful unto him and I'll bless his name. For the Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. In spite of what you're going through, the Lord is good. I don't care what the doctor said, the Lord is good. I don't care what the lawyer said, God is good. Hallelujah. I don't care what is going on in your life. He's good. And I worship you. I give you glory. I give you, come on, press your way through. 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 is glad to be here. I said, how many is glad to be here today? Hallelujah. How, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, Hallelujah. where would we be? I said, if it was not for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? So we give God glory today. We give God praise today. I said, we give God glory. Somebody, I need somebody in here that know what I'm talking about. Now clap your hands. Psalms 147 says, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on, let the enemy know that there's victory in this camp. Come on, let somebody know that you got the victory. Come on, let somebody know that God is the head. Uh, always uh, thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you for my miracle thank you Jesus thank you for my healing thank you Jesus thank you for turning around for me thank you for opening doors I could not see yeah I know you'll be a way maker. I know you'll 
to be a heart fixer, a mind regulator, a counselor, hallelujah, a royal sharing, a bomb. Yes, you are. The songwriter said, he's my friend. He said, he healed my body, told me to run on. The songwriter said, he made a way out of no way, and he told me to run on. He's my friend. He'll stick closer than a brother or a sister. Yes, yes. Sometimes you just got to deliver yourself. Sometimes you just gotta pray until you feel better. You don't understand why, but you just gotta praise him in the midst of it all. Praise him in the midst of your trouble. Praise him in the midst of your circumstance. Say yes! Yes! Nobody 
You may be joining us, hallelujah, on live stream here. And let's praise God for those who are joining us and those who are in service. Can you put your hands together? Come on, let's clap and let's put our hands together in the presence of the Lord. In his presence there is fullness. In his presence there is completeness. Our God, amen, I heard this morning, he is an awesome God. I said he is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Words can't even describe how good he is. Amen. Our finite language and all the languages of the world cannot describe how good God is. Amen. He, he did it for us. Somebody say for me. And he's yet doing it for you. He's yet doing it for you. He's yet opening doors that you can't see. He's still working miracles. And I just believe God for miracles. I just believe God for miracles. I just believe God for healing. I just believe God for doing the impossible. And what the man says, hallelujah, God can say yes. And what the doctor says is uh, impossible, God can do. God can do the miraculous. He can do anything but fail. The Bible asks, is there anything too hard for God? Hallelujah. And I heard through the echoes of time, there's nothing too hard for God. Although we deal with the curse of Adam, hallelujah, God can move for us. He did for the prophet. He did, hallelujah, for the king. He draw back the sun 15 degrees. He, 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 he gave him 15 more years to his life. Is there anything too hard for God? And today we pray and today we stand in the gap for you. Somebody say for you. God is going to do it for you. I'm just believing there is a great prayer list on today there is a great prayer list on today somebody is crying somebody is hurting somebody is in the hospital somebody is in hospitals somebody's at home whatever the need is somebody does not have a job somebody does not have means to feed their family hallelujah but how many know there is nothing too hard for God and God can work it out. Come on, somebody say he'll work it out. Hallelujah. Would you stand and let us go before the throne of grace. At this time, Pastor Burrell is going to come. And we're going to pray the prayer of faith, believing God that he can and he will. We believe you by faith. For you said if we had faith the size of the grain of a mustard seed. God, we believe you now. We believe your word. Now stretch out your hand over us. Let healing be ours. Let deliverance be ours. Every ache, every pain, every discomfort, every hospital room, every lonely bedroom, strengthen now. Strength right now. Strength in the name of Jesus. Heal in Jesus' name. We believe you by faith. We trust your word. Your word said ask. We're asking now. Lord, we're asking you for healing. We're asking you for deliverance. We're asking right now. We stand on your word. Your word is true. Now touch in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're healed in Jesus' name. We're delivered in Jesus' name. And we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you. 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 Yes, Lord. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. 
say it again. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the
that was a miracle of love and grace. His grace, his grace, his grace is sufficient. His grace, I am ocean, and I must see it, be a shot. Roba Baba Sikobi and da 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 but it's about him. Great is his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness towards us. And we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, hallelujah, new mercies I see. All I have needed thine hand provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me great is thy mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercy I see great is your grace forever faithful towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercies I see day after day been great and he's been faithful I want to challenge you this morning I want to challenge you this morning because of his grace and his mercy and his faithfulness I want to sacrifice unto the Lord this morning with tithing and with offering those of you who are joining us by the way of internet, amen, they're showing you right now how you can give. Let's get ready to sow into the kingdom. This is a great place, a great house to worship the Lord in your giving. Hallelujah. How many need God to do some great things in your life? I said, how many need you need God to do some great things in your life? As you begin to sow, expect a harvest. Expect great blessing. I don't just speak to just be speaking. Hallelujah. But I speak under the influence and the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You want God to be consistent with you. Be consistent with him. Come on, look at somebody and say, if you want God to be consistent with you, you have to be consistent with him. His grace is unfailing. His grace, his mercy, his loving kindness, he's great. Hallelujah. I want you to prepare your hearts and your minds. Hallelujah.
I'm getting ready to pray. I don't have to give you a sermon. I don't have to go through a whole bunch of scriptures. We give because it's right to give. Amen. It's no coercion here. tithing system we believe hallelujah in a free will offering hallelujah I'm getting ready to pray just let me know online that you're sowing just let me know just say I'm sowing I'm believing God today I'm believing God today I'm believing God today come on raise those gifts up Come on, raise those gifts up all over the building. Don't be ashamed of what you have. Amen. It is God that has blessed you. If you're giving by credit or debit, amen. Evangelist is in the area. Lift those if you're giving. Lift those seeds up high. Come on. Say, not as a debt I owe, but a seed I sow. I thank God for making me the lender and not the borrower, above and not beneath. And so, Father, we thank you for these tithers and those that are giving a free will offering. And we give you glory and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The ushers are coming. I believe that you are sowing right now. Come on, you're sowing right now. You're believing God right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 If you're giving by... If you're giving by debit... Or you're doing it online, go to Givelify. Or you can use Cash App. Dollar sign, Greater Page Temple, Church of God in Christ. You looking for the Cash App? Dollar sign, Greater Page Temple. And it should pop up. Dollar sign, Greater Page Temple. Amen. Officials, y'all should know that. Givelify. Greater Page Temple, Church of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We don't want to miss the opportunity to give. Hallelujah. Listen, and I must tell you this, if you are not sowing, if you are not giving, if you are not tithing, you will not be blessed in the measure that you will want to be blessed. Matter of fact, you're blessed to wake up, but God has mandated that we tithe and that we give a liberal offering. It was not in the book of Moses, but God himself instituted tithing. He said, if you don't do it, you're cursed with the curse in Malachi. Get the curse off of your life. Get it off of your things, off everything that you own. Amen. How do you do that? Start tithing. You want to get the hole out your pocket? You want to stop having short of finances? Start tithing. Amen. Amen. Has everyone given? Come on, put your hands together and let's praise God. Come on, let's put our hands together and let's praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is empty. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Well, praise God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together one more time? Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't praise you enough. Even if I tried because you've been so good. of Luke, the book of Luke. And Father, we thank you for this time to share in the ears of your people that we may be found worthy to speak the oracles of God, the mysteries of your word, that liberty will come to the captive and set them free and open up the blinded eyes God now God we don't lean on our sufficiency because our sufficiency is not good enough our knowledge is not good enough but God what we need is a word from you a word that will change our perspective a word that will change our lives forever God, we did not come to be fascinated and enthused about individuals, but God, we come to see you and to know you. And we'll give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Luke chapter 5, Luke chapter five thank you music department thank you musicians appreciate you so much and to all the media staff and to all of our our elders amen and the evangelist missionaries those who are here in service and those that are joining us by the way of the internet luke chapter Five. And if you will, if you have the ability to stand, let's honor God's word. And it came to pass that the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Generet and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and he prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and he taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he left speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drop. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. 
want to take just for a few moments. I won't be long, but I will be strong. I want to talk to you from this wise launch out into the deep. Would you tell somebody, launch out into the deep? Come on, mean it like you say it and say it like you mean it. Launch out into the deep. Uh, many times we see what is before us. We see what is happening to us. We see what is happening through us. And, and, and it doesn't look too well. But understand it is through obedience to God that we can see a drop or a harvest of greatness. Understand here in the text, the, 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 the fishermen had been toiling and they had been going through the motions all day long. And yet there was nothing to be caught. There were no uh, prize of fish to be caught. But, but understand when you under uh, the rule of Almighty God and you hear him, his voice, you can expect the impossible to happen. You can expect, amen, great things to happen. Mm -hmm. Although it doesn't look like it's going to happen, uh, look at somebody and say, it's getting ready to happen. Because you're in the will of God and the safest place is in the will of God. And, and I must tell you that obedience is better than sacrifice. Now, God here, it is amazing. It is synonymous to me. Uh, uh, God has need of a pulpit or he has need of a, 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 a place to be elevated so that he could teach the word of God. And, and they didn't have any complaints. It's good to be in the will of God. It's good to be obedient and, and not buck and complain. Every time God begins to work and he begins to move you should say yes Lord. Uh, not my will but thy will be done. And it doesn't look like everything is in its right perspective and it doesn't look like everything is in order as it should be but understand that God has an order. God has a way that you can't go under. God God's a way that you can't go around. God has a way that you can't go over, but you got to come in at the door because he's the way, the truth, and the life. I, I, I want you to understand. I'm, what, Pastor, what are you talking about? I'm talking about obedience because sometimes it looks like that obedience is hard. I, I, I want to do a Frank Sinatra. I want to do it my way, but how many know that your way is not the best way you want to ask brother Abraham Abraham uh, God said you're going to have a child but but no Abraham and Sarah they laughed they they, they laughed they, they they laughed I'm too old for this I, I can't do this but but then Sarah uh, comes and says uh, I got an idea I know what God is saying I know what God is doing go on to my maidservant my handmaiden and and, and 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 lay with her and this is how God is going to give you know the story uh, how he's going to give us a son but that's not what God has said when God says something he means what it say I mean what I say and I say what I mean if God said he's going to bless you he's going to bless you no short of his word. He said his word would not come returning back to him void. He, he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Ah, uh, what am I saying? Through obedience, you'll eat the good of the land. Through obedience, he'll heal your body. Through obedience, he makes you the head and not the tail. So all day long, 
They toiled and they came up with nothing. But how many know that God owns everything? God owns the whole world. The, oh, there's my sweetheart. She's coming in. Ah, I've been waiting on you, Mother Guillory. Ah, my God. You, you must understand that God, ah, he holds the whole world in his hand. So if he says it, if he says it, I believe it. Come on, somebody. If he says it, I believe it. I believe God. Come on, somebody. Say, I believe God. Come on, if you really mean it from your heart, say, I believe God. Is there anything impossible for God? Is there anything that he cannot do? So my best prescription for you all today and all those that are listening by the way of the internet that you understand that when God speaks and uh, he said left, uh, 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 now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out unto the deep, launch out uh, and then let down your neck. God will give you specific instruction. I said he will give you specific instruction. I said God will give you specific instruction. Don't take the instruction like Abram uh, and Abraham and Sarai, uh, you know, how they did. They, they took the instruction and they put a twist on it. Be precise in what God tells you to do. Do no more and do no less. He didn't tell you, he didn't tell you to put no bait in the net. He just said drop the net. He didn't tell you to put any uh, macro cheese on the net. He just said drop the net. When you begin to be obedient, you'll see that God will begin to work on your behalf. Many times we don't feel, we don't feel like, hallelujah, uh, doing it. And Simon answering him said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and uh, have taken nothing. Nevertheless, come on, you've got to have the nevertheless in your mind. You've got to have the nevertheless in your spirit. You've got to have the nevertheless in your heart. Nevertheless, nevertheless, <laughs> at thy word, uh, uh, at thy word, I will. Uh, let down the net. Come on and say, nevertheless, I will. Uh -huh. And then I hear the psalmist David say, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Uh -huh. I, I will, in spite of what the condition may be, I will. I'll raise my hand. I will give God glory and with tears running down my face. I will, God, do what you call me to do. I will sing. I will usher. I will dance. I will, in spite of how I feel, I will. Nevertheless, at thy word, because thy word is true, I will, God, I will bless you. I will magnify your mother downs I will pray when I don't feel like getting up at three in the morning and getting down on my knees I, I will God because you said it and you you spoke it I, I will push back the plate uh, when when I don't understand how I'm hungry and and all things are chaotic I will nevertheless I will let down my net then they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and, and their nets break. And that's one thing, I'm coming to a close now, I'm almost out of time. Y'all know, uh, when you become obedient, 
when you become obedient, mm -hmm, God will cause your nets to overflow. Is anybody ready for the overflow? Is anybody ready for more than enough? Are you ready for God to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ask or think? I'm here to tell you that when you become obedient, and you say yes, Lord, that he'll cause your cup to overflow. He'll cause you to be what you cannot be by yourself. He'll cause the man to bow down. He'll make your enemy your footstool. When you become obedient and say, nevertheless, not my will, God will cause the open heaven to be upon your life. When you become obedient and you say, yes, Lord, he'll cause you to give and it shall be given to you. Press down, shaking together, running over. Will men give unto your bosom? I'm here to tell you, somebody ought to let down your net. I don't care what's been going on all night long. Just know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and call according to his purpose. I'm here to tell you. Come on, look at somebody and say, let down your net. Uh -huh. Let down your net, let down your net, let down your net. Some of you got to become obedient. And when you become obedient, God will cause the overflow. Anybody ready for the overflow? Is anybody ready for the overflow? I said, if you live right, you'll cause the overflow to be upon your life. If you live right, if you walk right, you'll cause the overflow to be in your life. If you live right, you talk right, you'll cause the overflow to be... If you give right, you'll cause the overflow to be in your life. God will never use nobody stingy. Hallelujah. Although he uses enemies to prove a point, but he uses the willing and obedient. I said God uses the willing and obedient. I said God uses the willing and obedient. Are you willing and obedient? Are you willing and obedient? Say yes. Say yes. Come on, look at somebody and say, let down your net. Some of y'all just looking at me like a deer in headlight, like I ain't preaching the truth. But I'm here to tell you, if you become obedient, if you just let down your net at his very word God I don't understand it but I'm going to tell you yes God I'm going to do it because you said it I'm going to deny myself because you said it I'm going to go back to the fish's mouth because you said it I said I'm going to open the fish's mouth because you said it. Anybody know about that parable? <laughs> Hallelujah. When, when, when you're obedient, he'll cause the axe head to float. Y'all know your Bible? <laughs> I said when you're obedient, uh, you'll find the lost coin. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when you're obedient, uh, you'll sit at the table uh, of plenty. Uh, when you're obedient, uh, you'll sit at the table uh, of love. Uh, when you're obedient, uh, you'll sit at the table of peace. Uh, when you're obedient, uh, you'll have the God of your 
your salvation. He'll walk with you. He'll talk with you. He'll tell you, I am your own. And the joy you'll share as you tarry there, none other will know. Let down your nets. Let down your nets. Say yes. See, some of us, we're trapped in our tradition. As you see, Simon says, we have toiled all night. It was not nighttime. Notice, it was the daytime. It was not the night time. What are you saying? That God works in mysterious ways. And the key mother just said, Simon said, nevertheless. I don't care if you've been doing it such and such for this many years. What has happened? How we used to do it? God does not work in tradition. God works in the unfamiliar, uncharted territory. It was the daytime. And so he was obedient. Then he ate the good of the land. What are you saying? God does not deal with uh, 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 the status quo but he wants to deal with people that are willing to obey his command oh I didn't get no good amens on that he wants somebody that's going to say oh God if you said it I believe it I believe God come on just say I believe God I can't see my way, but I believe God. I'm hurting, but I believe God. I don't know why, but I believe God. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Come on, look at somebody say, let down your net. Ayabasha. I heard God say you shall reap a harvest of blessing I heard God say somebody ought to get happy I don't know how you can sit and, and, and hear this word and, and not understand that if I become obedient I line up I'm ready to receive something that I have not received I'm ready to move in a place I have not been because I've let down my net say yes say yes I'm ready to receive my great harvest I'm ready to receive my overflow I'm ready to receive my miracle I'm ready to receive my destiny I'm ready to walk in my purpose I'm ready to walk in my unusual I'm ready yes yes let down your net Everybody standing. Everybody standing. Everybody standing. I'm poor. Because it won't always be like this. <laughs> uh, uh, it won't be like this. Somebody need to know that it won't be like this. You better to walk into your destiny. You ready to walk into your overflow? You got on the wrong instrument. You need to stay right back there. Somebody need to rejoice. On the count of three, I need you to rejoice for your overflow. I heard God say, God is ready 
you've been pressed there's been nothing it seemed like it's been a drought but God is getting ready to give you an overflow a drought load of fish fish represents income fish represents revenue fish represents healing fish freshness come on and in this I need you to begin to give God glory and in this I need you to begin to give God praise hallelujah for your fresh overflow for the drought the drought that is coming your way on the count of three one two three come on begin to praise him Come on, come on. Come on. The flesh can't understand this. The flesh don't understand this. The flesh don't understand this. Robo Oshia na 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 Yosha, Raba Mama Masia na na Bosia, Ribi na na Bosia Katabasi, Raba Baba Oshia, Ribi na 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 Bosia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll do what you say, God. 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 Come on, just look at somebody and say, it's your season. Come on, if you believe it, if only if you believe it, only if you believe it, only if you believe it. I, I need people that believe God. Hallelujah, you've been through hell and high water. In that night season, you've been through a lot. Hallelujah, but guess what, it's daytime. Come on, somebody say it's morning, it's morning, it's morning, it's morning. Come on, somebody need to know, it's morning. You've been hurt long enough. You've been dealing with the same thing long enough. Hallelujah, the nets are dry, but God is getting ready to give you an unusual, a created miracle, a created blessing. Come on, somebody need to know what I'm talking about here. Come on, begin to give God glory right there. Come on, begin to give God glory right there. Come on, begin to give God glory right there. And so we thank you. Come on, oh yeah, 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 that word was for you. Come on, come on, come on, the power of God is moving in this place. The power of God, yeah, come on, just let God have his way. Some of you, some of you still don't understand. You still in your flesh, you still in your feelings, but you got to say nevertheless, you got to say nevertheless. Robo today. You got to say nevertheless. I don't understand, but nevertheless. I'm gonna let down my net. At your word, God. At your word, God. At your word, God. People been trying to tell you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And you don't understand they've been used of the enemy. They don't want you to divest in the kingdom of God. They don't want you to pay your tithes. They don't want you to get involved in worship. They don't want you to get involved in church. They don't want you to get involved in ministry. Not church, in ministry. Hallelujah. But you got to say, nevertheless, you got my sheep know my voice and a stranger will not follow I got to follow God I will make you fishers of men if you follow me <laughs> I remember that as a child I will make you fishers of men fishers of men fishers of men I will make you fishers of men 
If you follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Y'all get what I'm saying? God is trying to change your subjectry. He's trying to change your status. He's trying to change your status in all areas of your life. If you just drop your net. Some things you've got to leave alone. Leave the traditions alone. You got to hear God. I was the missions president for jurisdiction number one. God said, drop it. Are you crazy? Are you, you, you let that go? Yeah. God said, that's not God in the first place. That's man. It's work in the name of the Lord. But my sheep know my voice. I'm leaving all to follow Jesus. I'm turning from this world today. I'm stepping out on his promise. For all I have is his today. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, mama, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. Ayabasha. Come on, look at somebody say, drop your net. Come on, somebody say, drop your net. Come on, drop your net. <laughs> Whatever the cost, no matter the cost, drop your net. <laughs> Come on, believe God, believe Jesus and drop your net. <laughs> Come on, he'll make it good. <laughs> He'll make it good. 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 And I'll tell you this, you don't have to wait till the battle is over. You can shout now. You don't have to wait. Praise him right now. You don't have to wait. Praise him right now. Come on, praise him for your overflow. Praise him for your overflow. Praise him for your net. Come on. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him.
Come on, just do a little dance right where you are. Come on, just raise him right now where you are. I just want you to do a little dance right where you are. Come on, believe God. God, I'm going to do it because you said to do it. God, I'm going to do it because you said to do it. God, I'm going to do it because you said to do it. God, I'm going to do it because you said to do it. I'm going to drop my net. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to believe God. Why don't you just praise him right there just for a little bit. Are y'all ready? One, two, three. Come on, praise him with your feet, with your feet, with your feet. Two more seconds, two more seconds, two more seconds, three more seconds, that's it. Stay right there. Can I challenge you? Those that hear my voice, I'm not going to tell you what to give, but I want to challenge you today. Real quick. Whatever it is, y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't get, um, get get comfortable just I just want you to bring it to the altar and drop it at the altar. Whatever God is telling you to drop. I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to tell you what. Hallelujah. But I believe God. Those of you that are giving by the way of Givelify. I need God to work a miracle for me. I said, I need God to work a miracle for me. I said, I need God to work a miracle for me. So I'm going to drop my net. I said, I don't want you to place it in nobody's hand. I just want you to just drop it at the altar and I want you to come celebrating. I want you to come dancing. Come on. Y- y'all get up from everywhere and just drop it on the altar. Just drop it on the altar. Whatever God has blessed you to give, I'm not telling you what to give. You know what you want God to do. I believe God. You can give by Givelify. Now y'all just help us celebrate a harvest. Just help us celebrate what God is going to do. Just go ahead and play.
Don't touch it. Don't. Has everybody given it? Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. 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 Deacons. Deacons. You can come collect this. Jesus. Jesus. There might be somebody that does not know the Lord in the pardon of your sin. Association. Association. Church membership is not salvation. Going to church, I said, deacons, come collect this. Hallelujah. Listen, it will not save you. Being morally good, think you done your deed because you came to church. You still going to go to hell. You better hear what I'm saying. You better have a relationship with Jesus. You got to give up all to follow Jesus. No night riding, no shacking, no fornication, no smoking, drinking, adultery. Corinthians tells us these will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. And I've got to tell you the truth. If I don't live it, it's still the truth. A liar won't even tarry in his sight. That means he won't even go before him. So if there's a one that wants to know Jesus, I offer you Jesus today. Let's pray. Father, I believe that you are the Christ. I believe that you died and you rose again on the third day. I believe that you are the soon coming Messiah. I denounce every ungodly way, every iniquity, everything that is not like you. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Wash me. And I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, come on, clap your hands. The Bible says you shall be saved. You're on your way. I want to hear from you. The number is 323-870-5270. 323-870-570. We want to hear you. We want 5270. Amen. We want to hear from you amen tuesday night we'll be here teaching the word of the lord tuesday night somebody say tuesday night 7 p.m we'll be here teaching in the fellowship hall the move of god amen it is family night amen you don't have to worry about dinner dinner will be served amen and we fellowship and teach the word of god amen this is a great church. I said, this is a great church. I said, this is a great church. If you're not associated with this church, amen. I, I don't know. 
But this is a great church to be a part of. Amen. Amen. We love you, all of our visitors. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for joining us. Let us know. Give us the likes and the shares. Those of you who are visiting today in service, we love you. Amen. We want to be social distant. Amen. But we want you to know that we love you. Continue to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's all stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you internet audience we're signing off god bless you on today and so father we give you praise and we give you glory thank you for those that are here and those that have joined us continue to keep us from falling and we give you praise and we give you glory now god bless this week god calls us to be multiplied in prosperity peace health and wealth in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We'll see you on Tuesday.